How you doing? Um, I'm just after coming off a Zoom call where I was actually interviewed um, for a woman's um, channel. I think it's a Facebook channel, um, probably on YouTube as well. And um, I had worked with this woman um, going through a process that helps you to realize your core values and and the vision that you have of the world that you kind of would love to live in the vision of the world that you believe should be and then to find your mission in life as in basically how and what you do to go about creating that vision of the world that you have or even just what you do or what you can do based on your values whereas you can at least contribute towards that world and that vision that you have and it was um it was a really it was a really long process probably because I made it long because I've just really like I I deep dived and it was eye opening it was it was fantastic and on the back of that because of obviously a level of openness and vulnerability that I shared with this woman she was inspired to to get me on her 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 show her interviewing um platform and um i just have a chat but what came out of the conversation was more than just a conversation we actually kind of brainstormed and um i'll just read you my the vision of the world that i actually have and that i hold within my heart because it's made up of everything that i truly value um and my the vision is uh, a world where safety and serenity cultivate a self a sense of wonder and the depth of each person's experience unfolds their limitless opportunity so that in itself to me means that the the almost the safety in letting go safety in being who you truly are connecting with who you truly are and then allowing what is for you to come into your life um and that being limitless opportunities because when we when we come from a place of being like being our true selves our true authentic selves um, everything that we do from that space can only be inspired and inspired action instead of what the most of most of society does most of society are in this doing state of mind a slave mentality whereas we have to work we have to earn money we have to be a certain way we have to show up a certain way all of this we have to do, 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 and then we'll find happiness. When I have the business and when it's making money, then I'll have more time and more opportunity. And then when that's in place, I can be happy. Instead of choosing it the other way around, choosing to be your true happy self and have a sense of wonder and connection with with yourself first and foremost and everything you stand for and then all of a sudden you notice the things that you wouldn't normally notice you see opportunities in things where you wouldn't have seen opportunities you meet people and you have the time for people that you wouldn't normally have met or had the time for because you're too busy focusing on what you think you should be doing and then you miss the golden nuggets and you just, 
this is what I've been doing for most of my life. And now I'm opening my opening myself up to being the person who I know I truly am based on what I truly value, my core values. And things are happening already. Like being interviewed f like today is nervous, but I was nervous, but excited. And who knows what comes from that? Who knows what will come from that? But as well as that, what happened was we brainstormed and we used my values and everything I stood for to actually come up with a with a, a framework of what I could do first and foremost that would support my sense of being and my sense of self but with the idea of of how it could become a business and it was really eye opening because none of it felt like hard work none of it felt like a challenge because it was all based on me just being who I'm being already and that is exciting so I'm celebrating that as a win already um, and it was a great experience and it's also nice just to be actually recognized for being authentic in your true self and for people wanting to actually speak to you because of that and not having to put on a mask or pretend to be somebody I'm not to be completely open and honest you know and some people see see danger in that but that's only if you are if you fear fear being judged and there's always going to be a part of something in my in the back of my mind that's going to expect to be judged for even shooting these videos and sharing them so openly um but fuck it you know i've no idea what's going to come from of from these videos but i've no expectations either and as i said in the very first video that i that i posted on monday just gone these are more to do with these videos are more for me so that i have a catalog that I can look back on and even just to, to just to track my growth. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling good. It's an unusual experience to be interviewed and to be asked your opinion and your visions and what it is that really floats your boat. Pretty cool.